Hello students, so this is the 11th video of module 1 and uh, second part of module 1. So in the last video I was explaining about the uh, different modes in which the instructions are written and how they will be executed. So uh, we have seen the register mode. Uh, in register mode we have also seen that the operand is the contents of a register. Uh, that is uh, you will be having the operation followed by the operand, operands and uh, here uh, in register mode the operand is a contents of the register the name or the address of the register is given in the instruction registers are used as a temporary storage location where the data in a register are accessed so we are going to access the data which is present within the register with the help of the instructions given so here with one example we are going to see is move r1 comma r2 that is whatever is placed in r1 its copy will be move to the register r2 if a register r2 it consists of any old data that will be rewritten with the data which is moved from r1 to r2 so this is about uh, register mode next is absolute or direct mode so the operand is in a memory location so directly we are going to address uh, the address of the memory location is given explicitly in the instruction for example the instruction move location comma r2 so whatever will be placed you know, will be present in r uh, that is location loc uh, the copy of that content of that memory location will be uh, moved to the register r2 next um, uh, type of uh, mode is uh, immediate mode the operand is given explicitly in the instruction for example uh, immediate mode consists of uh, directly the number for example if you want to move 200 from uh, uh, 200 from the memory location to the r0 then directly you will be giving the value there and uh, how we are going to give is like uh, here you can see like a hash 200 so hash 200 indicates that it is a immediate mode hash indicates it is immediate whatever value will be present after this hash symbol so that value will be moved to the register r0 so place the value 200 in the register r0 so clearly the immediate mode is only used to specify the value of a source operand so the source operand is nothing but here the value 200 so which will be placed in r0 so this is about immediate mode so the instructions does not give the operand or its address explicitly instead it provides information from which the memory address of the operand can be determined uh, we refer to this address as the effective address of the operand so effective address is nothing but um, the information from which the memory address of the operand can be determined so that is called as a effective address so next type is uh, indirect mode so indirectly we are going to give the uh, address or the memory location that is effective address of the operand is the contents of a register or memory location whose address appears in the instruction so this register or the memory location it will be uh, not be holding the value but it will be holding the address of the value where it is actually stored so indirectly we are representing with the help of a memory location or with the register so if we see the example you'll come to know so next is the register or memory location that contains the address of an operand is called as a pointer so a pointer is what uh, what is the use of a pointer it will be pointing to some memory location right so here also we, uh, this register or memory location which is used in this indirect mode it will not be containing the value but instead it will be consisting of the pointer to the value that is the memory location uh, the address of the uh, value where actually it is stored so indirection is denoted by uh, parenthesis sign around the register or memory location so we will see with the example here add r1 comma r0 so here what happens is the operand is in the memory right r1 uh, is a register which uh, contains the uh, address of the data which is stored there okay so the operand is in the memory register r1 gives the effective address of b of the operand so where actually this uh, b value of b is stored so that address will be given by this operand r1 okay 
so like that we are indirectly pointing to the value and we are going to add the value which is present at this r1 register and with that value of r0 and we'll be storing the data in r0 so here we can see uh, how actually it is taking place so there is an instruction add r1 comma r0 r1 is in parenthesis indicating that it is indirect mode of addressing so here you have the, if this is the main memory and uh, here it will be having an operand r1 is an operand and in this operand it will be containing the value b okay so here uh, uh, in the register r1 the value b will be stored so this is through a general purpose register if we are going to the memory location then add a within the parenthesis comma r0 and uh, at that location a b will be stored and if we move to that b position then we will fetch we can uh, uh, get the operand and that operand will be added with r0 and the resultant value will be also stored in r0 so this is indirect addressing you can see the set of instructions also here given uh, so we can see there is a loop statement or a branch statement also we'll see what actually it is move n comma r1 move num1 comma r2 and clear r0 so these are the initialization statements so what we are going to do n value a total uh, number of times we are going to add so that value will be stored in r1 move num1 comma r2 clear r0 add r2 whatever will be present in r2 that will be added to r0 and again the resultant value will be stored in r0 add 4 to r2 that is to point to the next inst uh, next memory location we are going to add 4 decrement r1 branch until uh, it is greater than 0 we have to uh, loop these statements how many statements 1 2 3 until this condition will become true move uh, r0 comma sum so these are the set of instructions where we are using indirect addressing mode so here you can see r2 comma r0 represents the indirect addressing mode and also in this we are going to see how the branching has taken place and what is the condition given in order to jump from one uh, like uh, one set of statements to the other set of statements or instructions so this is about the um, indirect addressing mode a different kind of flexibility for accessing operands is useful in dealing with lists and arrays so if we want to deal with the lists and arrays we are going for the index mode so index mode what actually it is we'll see here in this mode the effective address of the operand is generated by adding a constant value to the contents of the register so not directly um, going with the address here the effective address we are going to calculate based on the some constant value will be given along with that we will be adding the contents of a register so here we have two types of um, index mode so first one is offset is given as a constant here the index register r1 contains the address of a memory location and the value x defines an offset called as displacement so here in this example you can see add 20 of r1 comma r2 so this 20 will be added to the register r, that is this is indirect addressing mode r1 with it is within the parenthesis so whatever value will be stored here in r1 for that we are going to add 20 and we will be um, uh, fetching that element and from that uh, that element will be added to uh, the content of register r2 and the resultant value will be stored in the register r2 so this is how we are going to uh, do here for this offset if it is given as a constant value so this is one uh, type of index mode and the other type of index mode is offset is in the index register so this is the memory location and offset value will be given in the index register and we will be adding whatever is present within this index register to this memory location and we will fetch that value and it will be added with the register r2 and again the value will be stored in the register r2 so this is the two different ways of index mode okay so in the next video i'm going to explain how the effective address will be calculated